Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with another Mark V GTI on the channel. However, this one is a little bit different. This is a car which I didn't even realize existed until very recently when the owner, Leah, messaged me saying, look, I've got a, a Mark V GTI estate. And I was like, did they even make one? Now they didn't make one for any market apart from the Japanese market. So this is a Japanese import, was imported I think a couple of years ago. Um, it is a stage two car as well, so it is modified. And yeah, just very, very intrigued by this thing because super rare here in the UK. But like I said, we'll introduce you to Liam, have a walk around the car before going out in this Mark V GTI estate. Okay, so we're joined now with Liam, the owner of the car. Mate, thank you so much for bringing this thing along today and actually, well, teaching me a little bit about some uh, some Mark V history. Thanks for the invite. No, no, by all means, thank you. So yeah, Mark V GTI Estate. Yeah. Very rare car. Super rare over in the UK, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, probably only a handful yeah, in the UK. Yeah, if that is, yeah, one or two that I know of in the UK. One but, or two, um, wow. Yeah. Not okay. loads about. Obviously a car which was only made for the Japanese market. That's right, really? yeah, so it's Japanese domestic market, it's made for. Yeah. Um, and out the factory they rolled out with a two litre turbo engine from the GTI. Yeah. And yeah, obviously this one's had a few mods to it. It's yeah. Stage two tunes. It's around about 260, 265 brake. Mm -hmm. It's got the new speed intake pipe with a ProRam filter. Yeah. Uh, it's got the forged blanking plate, get rid of the PCV system. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got an upright dump valve in there. And there's cool little things like you've got the oh, yeah. stickers yeah, that. that are still That's very, originals very cool. in there. I mean, the car is really clean. It's so clean. It's uh, really I, clean. I don't think they have very salty roads over in Japan, yeah. and um, that's just helps. And they're quite stringent with their MOTs and stuff, so they, yeah. they make sure everything's perfect. And yeah, absolutely. Do you know when it roughly so it was imported? I think it was about two maybe two and a half years ago oh wow so very so, recent yeah then. real recent yeah wow. and it's yeah it's just super clean all over yeah absolutely so like you said stage two tunes yeah yeah, yeah stage two tunes i've got plans obviously as everyone does for yeah. going more yeah um, two plus three yeah i'll probably go yeah. two plus first yeah just needs the um the s3 intercooler is best for these smaller yeah. turbos um you saying something about the front end as well edition 30 bumper yeah so this yeah. is um not the standard bumper from factory this is an edition 30 gti bumper which i think gives it a, a nicer look the lower grills have been painted gloss black um it's got the smoother grill with the, the magna plates oh um, yeah take the front off it oh. easy for shows and whatnot yeah it's just got a nice look to it yeah it's, uh, um, it's just so cool seeing an estate version of it though yeah yeah Really, really cool. So you see some, but obviously they're diesels and yeah, yeah, probably replicas and stuff like that. Sort of used wagons, but this yeah. one's yeah, a bit yeah. different. The real deal. Surprises real deal. a few people. Yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> Lovely set of BBSs on it as well. 19, yeah, I think, it's the 19 know? inch BBS CHRs, yeah. um, and it's got the VW Racing Line 365 mil brake kit. Yeah, nice. Which nice. Um, yeah, they certainly do the job. Six pot caliper as well. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Sits really nice as well. Lowering springs, coilovers. Yeah, so it's yeah. ST lowering springs, which yeah. is um, a 40 mil drop on that. Okay, yeah. And then recently had the skirts fitted as well. Oh, okay, yeah. They're from a Mark 6 R20, oh. and they obviously they fit straight yeah. on. Yeah. So that was ideal. This is a spoiler which is imported from the US. Oh, okay. It's a Votex spoiler. Yeah. Which is, again really rare. Yeah. The previous owner managed to get hold of one. But Ollie, the guy that built most of the car, yeah. he managed to get so many cool bits onto it. Yeah, like here, it just looks like a just a Gulf estate, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when you go past awesome. people, there's no black smoke chugging out. Yeah, of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think this is probably my favourite view, though. Yeah, it's, it's hard to get the my favourite angle on it. I think it's. Yeah. I don't know if it's the front or the rear or. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think it's there. Awesome stuff. Well, I think if that's pretty much everything. Yeah. I think we'll uh, we'll get it started up and go for a drive. Cool. Talks there. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be back in one of these, you know. Yeah, it's such a good car, aren't they? They're they just are so they're solid. And this is still a daily driven car as well, isn't it? Yeah, this is the daily. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't think it with the <laughs> with how clean it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it drives so nice, no rattles or bangs or bumps. Ah. It's just really smooth. Real smooth, yeah. I bet the underside is mint as well. Yeah, I've seen a few pictures from when um, the downpipe was done yeah. and it was just so clean. Yeah. You would not believe. So is it like a sports cat on it at the moment? Um, yeah, so it's a um, three inch downpipe yeah. and then onto a sports cat and then yeah. I need to get a custom exhaust fitted at, gotcha. or made up and fitted at some point. Yeah. I'll spy the Mark VI wheel as well actually. Yeah, so the inside's got the Mark VI wheel, it's got Mark VI uh, GTI leather and this, the, the DSG yeah. shifter, it used to be one of those massive 
walking stick type ones. <laughs> have you seen yeah. them? They're huge. They're like a. Oh, did, did this have it? Yeah, so oh. almost like the ones that you get in an aeroplane when you're you know, thrusting forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Ollie did the mod, so you have yeah. to actually twist the whole thing and then sort of oh. set the plastic on it. Um, oh, okay. So it's got the nicer, smaller DSG knob yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah. It sounds really sweet, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it's not loud or no. I think it has got one of the rear boxes removed, so it's got a little bit of a, a noise to it, but it's not overbearing. It's not yeah. mad. It's exactly. it's just quite a nice sound to it. Yeah, it's got to be a usable hot hatch anyway. Isn't yeah, it? So absolutely. It can't be. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. just think it's so cool that these cars can just go so under the radar for so long. I'm a massive golf fan. Obviously, used to own a Mark V, and yeah. I had no idea these even existed. I feel like in, in like today's era of cars, like there's no, there's none of these like little secret cars that people know about. No, don't know about, right? Whereas, the world of the internet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone knows everything nowadays. But <laughs> but even these, yeah, I wasn't aware of them until I saw Orly when he had it. Um, mm. Sort of following him on Instagram, I was looking for a caddy van at the time so I could get my mountain bike in and out. <laughs> and um, I needed to get something bigger. I was looking at a caddy van that maybe had a TFSI engine in it. Yeah. Um, yeah. They were quite big money anyway. And then I saw this come up. I ended up buying this. Yeah, yeah. And the mountain bike still goes in? Yeah, perfectly. Yeah. yeah. It's so much easier now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're saying you've got more plans for it? You yeah. Stage two plus is definitely on the cards then. Yeah, two okay. plus at some point. I say yeah. it needs the S3 intercooler, yeah. uh, the custom exhaust. Don't think it needs fuel pump internals at that point. Okay. But that's a bit later on if you do want to go that. Yeah. Sort yeah. of the, um, stage three with it with a hybrid turbo. Yeah. But yeah, still decent numbers and mm. plenty for what I need it for. I don't do huge miles in it. So. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's, just it's a, definitely a keeper though. Yeah, yeah. This one's going to stay for a long time. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, it does everything really. It ticks the yeah. right boxes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Still don't hang around though. No, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and it stops as well. Oh, it does stop there. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to say they're um, 310 mil brakes on the rear on as the well. On the rear, so wow. So they've been upgraded as well. Yeah. As an all-rounder, it's just perfect. Yeah. Intake sounds good as well. Have we done a gearbox flash as well? Is that Matt's gearbox? No, the gearbox is still standard yeah. on the standard okay. map, but yeah, I didn't, actually. again, it's something that I would probably do when yeah. it went to the two plus. But yeah, no, I'm still surprised that just that this actually exists. <laughs> <laughs> and if you own another one of these in the UK, let us know, because, I mean, there could literally just be this and that other one that you yeah. know of, and that's it. Yeah, I'd like to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be really interesting to know. But, but yeah, thank you very much for, for taking me out here briefly. It's a really, really nice car, actually. Thank kind you. of makes me miss mine a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, as always in these videos, you can find Liam's Instagram link down in the description down below for you guys to learn a little bit more about this car and see how the build progresses. But yeah, for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.